So we're using, we make this on Gilda traces and bottom traces. Um, <coughs> found that some of the traces, fishing commercial and so forth, um, the looks get blunt and so forth. So we change them to these bottom line stainless steel looks. So we're going for the th for the three uh, three o three o for the two top hooks, eight o on the bottom hook, and then um, for the heel back we're using the ten o. This is a ten o. Now because of that, there you see where it joins. It's not a welded hook. You've got to make your snell nicely. So what we do, come closer to this one. So what we do is first the length of the trace. This one, my arms are lacquer, so this is my bottom one for my bottom sinker, and this is for my for my hook snoot. Right. So my hook snoot, we go through there. It's one more. We're using fluorocarbon. One, two, three, four. Five, six, anything from six, but I go eight and then back through. And that's the snell. Because it's got to turn and catch. This portion, when you choose your hook, is very important. Some is too narrow here. Look at the barb of this hook. See how big this barb is. That means you can catch multiple fish and the hook will stay in. That hook, that barb is made for the hook to stay in. So a lot of the hooks, this barb is not. So we've asked the manufacturer through um, the guys that supply us hooks in what we are looking for and so forth and they actually made the hooks for us we are very happy about that close skirt this is the close skirt there that we use Gilbert go on sight smell and vibration so this gives you the vibration sight will be the glow stick together with the bait then this one here, let's put it on like that, here we do an all figure of eight, fluorocarbon one millimeter, that nice and tight, then the way the swivel is, if it's, if you go that way with the sinker on, you see it's going to turn. See the soil turns? So you put it that way. So this is where you attach your line for your for your sinker. Figure of eight. Double loop, whatever you want to call it. And at the bottom, just make a loop with a normal granny knot. And that's your kill back trace. Some guys go lower on this one here. Yeah? We go a little bit shorter on this one for reason that we are sitting 10 people next to each other and you don't want now when you finish you can trim it the way you want it so I'm trimming it a little bit that was a little bit too long sink about 300 longer than the, the what's name trace now if you want to go double we just cut this off and add this onto there with the two hooks and you can 
go double, you can go triple as long as as much as you want. Um, here's the tray string. Then it goes on to the tray string. So we've got a box for each type of of hooks, traces. <coughs> each box takes about 30 traces. So we're sorting our Gilbert traces out for tonight. And then let me do one bottom trace. Start with where's the swirls? Okay. Are they in the look there in the box? Right there. Yeah, that box in the seat. Yeah. Box. yeah. How's it? Oh. Morning. Morning, morning. How was your paddle? Yeah, and getting a bit old for this thing. <laughs> Can you eat it soon? So we're using links. 32 ran a packet for 10, uh, 10 swivels. And we start off. Start off with a trace. Double loop. Now, we had a discussion about this situation, me and Shorty. It goes about, on my boat, the length of the tracing and the length of the snoot. Everybody makes them the different. We make it according to, to the space that you've got on the boat and the length of your rod. If you've, your trace is so long, you're going to battle with it to put it in the water. You're going to battle to take the fish out. Um, you mustn't fight with your trace because if you're fighting with your traces, it means time, and time is fish. So basically, you 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 want a trace that's in the the eating zone, and it should reach from your reel. Your first swivel must be 750 from the top of your your uh, uh, rod, right? On my rods, I use LB Explorers. Uh, I find them a very cheap rod, but the rod so I make my trace 750 from the top first swivel right and then my sinker will reach my reel so that means when I pack my rods away and everything like that everything just fits properly when you throw it overboard you don't have to take it in two sections and throw it because there you're losing five seconds already so you want to just pick it up and throw it in the water and when it comes out as well, you pick your rod up, when you pick your rod up, your sink is coming straight towards you and you've got control over it. So you don't, I see a lot of guys fishing with six, seven hooks on the, on the traces, boom, oh, and the hooks. When he goes down, he's fighting with his trace. When he comes up, he's fighting to get the fish on board. It's, it's, it's just not logically. So um, on the bottom trace, go about this length arm length and then I'll put a just a normal lock granny knot in it so my bottom what's name I'll go the same length there because now I'm going to make knots so I'll go the same length that's my first first hook. So I use a on these bottom line um, make you get different makes of, of, of hooks. On the bottom line I use an 8 though for my bottom hook. A normal snail. The reason why you go through it first is for the line to actually lie on top of the where the the hook bends so you you actually you'll see now you see now if I go through it this way the line that I went through is actually 
what do you what's the word for that? It's actually protecting your line, not being cut off with a big fish on on the joint, on the joint there because it's not a welded hook. So that one goes in there. That's your first what's the name? We're sitting next to each other, one meter to one meter, so shoulder to shoulder. You ask me why the length of the what's the name is so short, right? You're looking here, I'm sitting here, my hook will reach here, the guy that's sitting next to me will be that length. Right, so it all goes according to everybody ask why the length and so forth. <laughs> And it's been carried over from generation to generation. You need to make your trace this length and that length. It goes about how far you're sitting from your friend. Because this thing can swing around and so forth. If you're going to make this longer, you're going to tangle with the guy next to you. So now your second, your second uh, set of line that we're going to use here on the bottom. Hook. Time up. And I go that length. Now it's going to be a bit shorter. I've made it now that length there. You can see now sinker, the first line, the distance between the hook and your sinker. So it's not touching the bottom. Right. So your second one is going to be that length there to where your sinker begins. Now you're going to make a knot onto it so it's going to be shorter. On your next one, same, follow the same procedure. You put your your what's them on your figure of eight. Right. Right. So this one goes to your swivel there, to your swivel. Then you cut it off. Take it a little bit short, it's too long. So about there. A little bit shorter than that. It's a little bit shorter than the other one. Through there. Oh, shouldn't have done it. Should have smelled it first. Six. So my line was the same length from there to there and then it gets shorter with the with the knots you do. Right. So there's it.
next to him. So my last hook, we're using three hooks and that's it, not more than that. They take the length from there, from that saw to that saw. For a moment I forgot what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm <gonna> tie the saw, I'm tie. Figure of eight. And this is for a snoot from there to there, and we cut it off. Go hook, go from the inside outwards, do your six turns, from the outside inwards, we make a normal circle and a figure of eight at the back. So this is your trace. Um, why did I do this now at all? Huh? Well, this is going to end up a full trace. <laughs> okay, let's make this a full trace. Not a problem. From there to there. This will be my choice then. Mm -hmm. Your choice. Yeah. This is your area for where you're gonna fish. It doesn't hook around here, you've got nice space there, nice space there, nice space there between what's there. And yeah, that's our bottom trace. Now that goes on to a trace ring. So your line doesn't crease. onto that she made it right it should fit properly yeah, these hooks are sharp eh? catching you yeah <laughs> nice you catch the fish make sure it's nice and tight 
doesn't fall around. That's it.